hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to write security rules that is record rules in Odoo. so record rules are used to limit the visibility of the records based on the particular condition like if we have 10 records in a model and if some users has to see only some records which they are assigned we can use the record rules so for this purpose we will continue the development with the hospital management module which we are using in the all the our development videos so for this purpose i have created a new model that is i have created a new model for the doctor and the model name is hospital dot doctor and you can see inside the doctor i have added a field that is the doctor's users are uh, those who have access to the system they will log into the system for like seeing the patient details etc so uh, for every doctor i have added a field related user so that i can assign the related user of the doctor pressure on these joil wheels like that i have can save it if i switch to another doctor you can see there is a doctor with the name mark his related user is mark demo and we have another doctor that is mitchell and related user is mitchell admin so this is the model i have created newly and we have the another model that is patient that is hospital.patients and inside the patient record i have added a new field a minute one field to the new model that is doctor model so right now i have given the doctor for the patient odoo is dr mitchell and if i move to the next the yeah, doctor of the yasin is dr mark so right now if all the doctors logged into the system they can see all the patients like if yasin like if mark mark is a doctor and mitchell is another doctor so if mark or mitchell logged into the system they can see all the patient records in the database let's see how we can trust the visibility of that that is if mark get logged into the system he should only see his patients and if mitchell logged into the system he should only see his patient to which he is assigned like once mark mitchell is logged in he should see odo but he should not see yasin as it is another doctor here and he should see odo mates and he should not see xyz so once Mitchell should log in, he should, should only see Odo mates and Odo. And once the mark should log in, he should only see this patient that is Yasin. So let's see how we can do the same. For that, we will write the record rules inside the XML file. So I will go to the PyCharm. So you can see we have already created a security.xml file for another purpose that is for creating user groups so i have already told all the security related files will be placed inside security folder and so i will continue creating the record rules here inside this security.xml file which is already called inside the manifest file so if you are creating new you can call it the manifest file and here i will create the new record rule so if i search the existing code that is if i search for ir.rule inside the code for just to get a sample so that i can continue on that so I will just copy this record from here. I'll just control C and paste it inside our file. Okay. So the model is IR.rule that you have to given. That is, we are going to create the record inside this model. That is record rules. And you have to give an unique ID. I will give us patient record rule. So you can give the ID as per the need, but don't forget to give an ID which stands with close to the record functionality so i have given a id and inside the name i have given name that is c only his patient that is doctor should only see his patients so i have given a name for the record and here inside the model you have to specify the model name for which the record rules has to applied so we are going to apply the record rules for this model that is patients model so if i activate the developer mode from here you can enter question mark debug equal to in the url or you can go to the settings and activate the developer mode so here the developer mode is activated and from here in edit view form you can see the model is hospital dot patient so i will just copy the name and i will put it here inside the record rule that is model id equal to model underscore model name and the dot dot has to be replaced with the underscore so i have given the model id as model hospital patient that is we are going to apply this rule for the patient's record model and i will remove this global for now 
and in the domain force we have to give the domain so i will explain it later and i'll just search one more thing if i search it again control shift f and if i search again and i will just copy a line from here and i will paste it here so here i am specifying that this rule should be applied for a particular group of users so for the in the company itself we are have we will have different levels of users so right now this rule is going to apply for the doctor level users so we here we have created a group for the doctor so i will copy the id of that group that is we are going to apply the new rule for this group of users so i will just paste that id here so what we have done is we have created a new record and given an id and given a name that is the only his patient and model is specified as patient record and domain force keep it as empty for now i will come to that point and group says given us doctor group so let's upgrade the module so there is no restart of service i just given a restart of the service it's not necessary as we have made changes inside the python we haven't made changes we haven't made changes inside the python only we have made changes inside xml code so i will just upgrade the module so from here i will upgrade the module so once after upgrading the module you can see a new record rule is get generated so there is an error so if i check the code you can see end of the line while scanning the literal so there is some missing here inside the code okay, let's see what the issue model and if i check the error message again let's see what's the error hospital menu is given properly model id is specified domain force given groups let's comment it out and see whether it's causing the issue just i comment it out this line for now and let me upgrade the module once more so let's trace from where the error is coming so i'm putting the module module for upgrading once again okay the module is getting upgraded you can see the module get upgraded without any issue so that that means the issue is here in this line so you can see yes control set you can see the issue is that here you have a comma but it's not opened so if i check exist uh, if i check the code once more you can see if i check ah uh, yeah that is here you have missed a inverted comma okay i have removed that comment and i will upgrade the module once again so by going to the apps menu i will upgrade the module once again so what you have got the error message is that we have missed a inverted comma here that's why you got the error message when we upgrade the module later before so right now we have fixed that issue and if we go to the settings and then to the technical make sure that sure that the debug mode is opened and under the security file security menu you can see the record rules menu and here you can see there are a lot of record rules existing in the database so i'll just copy the name we have given here that is see only his patients so i'll just copy ctrl c and i will make search here with the given name so you can see the record has been get generated that is the name we have given from the code is come here and the object is patient record and the group for which this rule is applying is doctor groups which all we have given here inside the code and by default as we haven't specified any read or write permissions it comes by default as true if you need to set any, any of this uh, read write uh, delete permission as false you can do it in the code like this so if i search an existing code that is if i make search of ir dot rule again you can see you can set this permission like this if you need to set unlink that is delete permission as false you can give eval equal to false if you need to set a uh, write permission as false you can set perm write eval false so by default everything will comes as true so now uh, before if i uh, before writing the domain i will show you change so if i right now we are logged in the system as mitchell admin so if i log out and log in as the mark demo user so i'll log in as another user that is demo mark demo so right now i have logged in the system as mark demo and if i go to the hospitals and then to the patient records you can see if i remove this filter you can see all the 10 patients here 
so before giving before just right now we have only write record rules and we have given the domain as empty so before writing the domain you can see all the records here so if i log in back as the mitchell admin by entering the admin credentials admin also can see all the 10 patients here so if i remove the default filter you can see Mitchell admin as well as mark demo can see all the 10 patient records so now let's see how we can write the domain so for writing the domain in the patient model that is this is the corresponding model where we have defined the record rule you have a doctor field here so if i take odu you have that doctor field here and if you take the technical name of that field field that is doctor underscore id so doctor underscore id and inside that model you have user field that is field which refers to rust users model you can see the core model of this field is rust users so i will access it like this doctor id doctor underscore id dot user id that that is the domain i have to write so inside the domain if i search for an existing domain which i can copy and paste it here i'll just copy let me take an example sample copy from any of the code yeah i will just copy this record rule Control C and I will paste that rule here. And here inside we have doctor ID. That is the field. Doctor ID dot and inside the doctor we have related user. So user that is doctor ID dot user ID equal to user dot ID. This is the variable in Odo which can give the ID of the logged in user. So user is the record of the current logged in logged in user. By user dot ID we will get the ID of the logged in user so we will match it map it with that is if once we open the suppose if mitchell admin is logged in he will check that is this is the field doctor id doctor id dot user id equal to user dot id so we have given a domain like this now let's upgrade the module and let's see what changes come if you don't understand the above point don't worry you will understand when we go forward so earlier when we have checked mitchell admin as well as mark demo user can see all the 10 records right now we have applied the domain and let's see what the changes comes in so the model will get upgraded successfully so if i go to the hospital patients hospital and then to the patients you can see all the 10 records here that is because the current user is not assigned to the group doctor so i will go to the users form view and if i take this is the user that is mitchell admin so i will open the mitchell admin form view and in the hospital i will set him as doctor so we have written the record rules for the users in the doctor group so now let's uh, reload the page and let's go to the hospital and then to the patients then you can see here we are only seeing two records right now earlier we have before writing this domain you are you are able to see all the 10 records but right now you are only able to see only the patients home for which the doctor is current logged user so you can see here you are only able to see two records that is you can see doctor dot current user is related is mitchell admin and mitchell admin so if i logged in as another user that is i will go to the settings first and then i will assign this is the mark demo i will add him to the group uh, i will add him to the group doctor group so i will just yeah he is already added into the doctor group and it's fine now i'll log out so here you can see two patients that is here if mitchell admin doctor logged into the system he can see two patients that is odo and odo mix so if i log out and log in as demo user so the login and i will log out as demo user that is mark demo you will see if i go to the hospital then patients you can see he is able to see only two records that is a b c d and yasi definitely the doctor will be mark so this is how you can write record rules in odoo i will explain once more what we have done we have made changes inside the xml file that is we are defining the record rules inside the xml file you have to create a record inside the model ir dot rule model is ir dot rule and we have given a unique id that is patient record rule and the name is see only his patients and model id is specified that is we are going to apply this rule for this model that is hospital dot patient and in the domain we have to give domain like like in my model that is 
in this model that is model you have specified here we have a doctor field doctor underscore id is the field name and inside the doctor record we have user id so i will check doctor id dot user id is same as logged in user so you will see only the records which satisfying or which match which this domain so this is how the record rules is written so if i go to the settings so i have to log in as admin again so i will log out from the demo user and i will log in as the admin and i will go to the settings and then to the technical and from here record rules security record rules i will search for patients patients you can see this is the domain we have given so let's create an another record rule for this group manager so that is doctor should only see his patients but manager the hospital manager should uh, log if hospital manager logged into the system he should see all the patients let's see how we can write a such a domain so i will copy the same record rule that we have written i'll just put it under here and i'll change the id and change patient manager rule like that i will give a name patient manager record rule i will update the name as see all patients see all patients and model is same that is model is hospital patient and if i need to see all the records make the domain as empty or you can give the domain as one equal to one like that you can specify if you check the code you can see here one equal to one that is one equal to one it will be always true or you can give empty domain and i am going to apply this domain for this group of users that is for manager group that is for this id i will copy and i'll put it here so we have added a new role for the group managers so let me upgrade the module so for that i will go to the apps menu and from here i will upgrade the module okay the module is upgraded so once after the module upgraded you can see a new record rules also will get added into the database okay so if i go to settings technical security and then to the record rules and if i search for patient search for object patient so that i will get two record rules so for the patient model you have written two record rules that is one for the group hospital doctor and another for hospital manager so right now uh, our user is that is current logged in user that is mitchell admin is if i open his record that is mitchell admin you can see mitchell admin is doctor in the hospital so as he is the doctor he is only able to see his own patient records right now so right now when the mitchell admin is doctor he is able to see only two records so if i change his group uh, that is if i change mitchell admin to the group manager that is if i change his group that is if i change him to manager of the hospital then he will be able to see all the patient records because we have given the domain here as empty domain that will be that will give him the uh, ability to see all the records so right now if i restart this uh, our page earlier with the doctor permission he is able to see only two records so if i go to the patients hospital patients you can see he is able to see all the 10 records so if i switch back him to the group doctor that is i will go to the users form view where is mitchell admin yeah mitchell admin is here i will switch his permission to permission back to the doctor from the manager so we'll scroll down and i will change him to the doctor that is his permission is blessed that is his permission is changed to the doctor so if i restart the reload the page earlier when he is the manager he is able to see all the 10 patients but right now he will be he will only able to see two records so this is how you can write record rules in odoo so if you have any queries or any doubts you can feel free to contact us Either you can comment out in the YouTube section or you can reach us over the mail. The email ID is odomates at gmail.com. Please subscribe our channel and like the videos for more updates. Thank you.